Hi guys. Today I thought I'm going through my Pat McGrath shadows and potentially even declutter some. I know, sacrilege, <laughs> because they're actually amazing. But I just realized some of these I don't necessarily gravitate to anymore. And um, some of them, actually it's the motherships. I mean, as much as I love them, but they're just so heavy in the format. It's just so big. I just don't reach for them. So I need to go through what I have from Pat McGrath and... I prefer if I pass it on to someone who will actually use it. The first one, um, we can have a quick look at the Pat McCarthy Mothership Sublime. This is the second Mothership. Motherships, by the way, I have four. And then this um, really big one she came out with, which is like, I think, Mothership Total. This one, I just recently did a one month, one palette one. Um, I like it and I will keep it. I will kind of leave it out of the box at the moment because I want to compare with some of the other um, shadows I have to make sure I keep the right ones. So I'll just put it here on the side. Um, this one I absolutely love. This is the Mothership one, the subliminal. I think this is one of my favorite ones. Um, it's very, whoopsie, very cool toned palette. There we go. I should probably do a one month one palette on this one soon. I wouldn't necessarily wear blue a lot in the past, but now I'm more open to it. And um, the shades, I mean, let me actually just swatch two of the special shades and maybe, maybe this one. As you can see, very cool toned. But I just, yeah, this one I think will be a keeper focus. There we go. But again, let me put it to the side to just make sure. Oh, they take so much space up. I literally have to be careful. This one, I'm not 100% sure. This one is the Mothership, oh gosh, Bronze Seduction Mothership 5. There we go. I kind of like this one. I like this shade. That's quite unique to my collection, this duochrome here. I mean, can you see? Because it's from gold to green to rosy tone. Let's just swatch that as well. Uh, it's a bit dark outside today and I'm filming in daylight. Again, yeah. Tricky, tricky, tricky. So that's the bronze seduction. Then this is the Mothership 3, the subversive. Oh gosh, that packaging. I, I store them in these boxes because I think these boxes are just so nice. And also the Mothership's a bit annoying um, on the outside. They look all the same, which is a bit annoying. Okay, this one. It's nice, but this one is also quite dark. Let me swatch it here. Hmm, okay. So I think my favorite shades actually from this one, let me swatch them separately. Sorry, I just went literally in here and here. Are uh, these two shades. Yeah, they're pretty amazing. So I just need to check if I might have them in one of the other. Yeah, this might be actually a maybe. Funnily enough, from this mothership, which is subversive. I also have the six pen palette. This one. I, I'm not. I must honest. I must be honest with these ones. These six pen palettes. I find the quality of them sometimes not the best. They seem to be a bit more dry. In this palette, I really like this shade, and this shade wasn't too bad. But I have similar shades um, in this really big one from Pat McGrath. So, okay, this one actually is also maybe. There was a time where I thought um, I really need pink eyeshadow because it was like a thing and it was in. So. I have quite a few pink eyeshadows. Ugh, seriously, they're packaging in other palettes. So let me actually look at some other six pen ones. This one is the um, subliminal one, the six pen. And this one I absolutely love. So let me actually turn it 
background. Here we go. And I think. Oh, seriously. That lay just with the overlay. This is very cool toned. Let me swatch this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're excellent. So this one I kind of really like. And it, this one is also a really usable one. Um, I could imagine to pen one day, saying that I said it all about a lot of palettes and then I have too many, I actually could pen one day. <laughs> so let's put this aside. Then we have this one. This one was like um, Chinese New Year special release, Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence. Um, the packaging on this one is quite amazing. This one was also, I think, there was a Star Wars one which had similar shades. I don't know. Um, this one is actually quite nice. And I think, again, the shades. Yeah, I really like the shades. Okay. The packaging from this one is as nice as the packaging looks. It's also slightly annoying because um, it's a bit rough and dust settles in it. It's really tricky to clean, but um, I like it. I like the look of it. I just wish it wouldn't catch dust. It's not like really rough, but like really fine sandpaper. And yeah, dust settles in it. Like, can you see from this side? Which is a bit annoying. I tried to wipe it before and yeah, it doesn't really work. Now, I this is definitely a keeper. This is the big one, the Mothership Mega Celestial Divinity. Um, Really, really love this one. Um, I actually also prefer the... Here's the shade names, by the way. I also prefer the format of it because um, it's not so heavy and um, the pans are a bit smaller. So you actually can try out much more and it's actually usable at some point. But yeah, this one is really good. This shade is quite nice. This one. This one is one of my favorite shades down here. What's it actually called? Dragonfly. It's like a really nice duochrome. Actually, quite a few dual chromy in there. Can you see? Super duper nice. So that's a definite keeper. Then I also have these little ones. Um, okay, these shades I don't really use. And purple, I have in other palettes. This is the Eye Ecstasy Subversive. And then I also have the other one. Again, I have this over and over in other palettes. It's the Eye Ecstasy Sublime. They are really good to trial. They're sometimes on sale for like in the UK for like eleven pounds, super cheap. So if you want to try out Pat McGrath shadows and you're not one hundred percent sure, I really can recommend these super tiny ones. To be honest, they will be on the maybe list both of them, because um, I mean one of them is super usable. But let's face it, I have so many palettes that are really really usable. I would prefer if someone else uses that probably. And then I also have some singles there from like a big eye set. This is just black, dark matter pigment. This one I absolutely love. This will definitely stay. This is Mercury. There you go. Is this one here? Amazing. Then this one is Astral White. And this one I have in a few of the big palettes. See, it's like a baked formula. It's super high shine. Like a really nice top. It's like see-through, but then super high shine. Um, but I have this in some of the palettes. So I'm not 100% sure. Then what we have here? Ultra Suede. This one I actually quite like. There you go. But then again... Oh. look nice and then I also have cyber clear eye gloss to be honest with this product it's like one of these products I think if you do an editorial look 
it's good. But for normal day-to-day -day users, not really. Gosh. Uh, makes it really, really tricky. I think. Okay, let me look at them again. This one, does this one have Astra White in there, actually? Because that would make my Astra Luna Gold is in here. Because I'm just thinking about the dupe, about that single shade. Okay. This one, the bronze seduction, I'm keeping for now. I like it. But to be honest, if I don't properly use it in a year, um, I will give that one away as well. I like it. I mean, the artwork on the outside, that's why I keep them in the boxes. The boxes are just really nice. Let me put it up here. Then this one is definitely a keeper. Um, I actually should really pen this one. This is the Mothership 2 Sublime. Wearable, wearable. I can wear it. I can wear it. Let's put it there. This one is definitely a keeper. What's the shade in this one? This is us, Astra White. Okay. Um, this is the same one as this. So this one can go. Um, I love this cool tone. I should actually put this one in a one month, one palette soon. Okay, three keepers. Then definitely the Celestial Divinity. Keep, keep, keep. Just so many shades. So many special shades. Not like a baked ones, but just nice duochromes. And I like it. Then I'll definitely give away these two. I will give it to friends and family. And I also looking at it again I will give away this one I mean this one I really really like but I have similar shades and other palettes and I just don't really wear these two and yes the other ones are wearable but I have it over and over again so this one can go this is the Pat McGrath Subversive La Bion Rose and I will also give this one away um yeah I'm just I mean this blue shade I really like but I can't keep a whole ass palette for that one shade so this is the subversive pet mcgrath mothership number two i will give this to the friends away that can go then the black shade can go this one definitely keeping the mercury and ultrasight brown um you know what no i give it away i have so many brown shades i mean it is super duper nice but i have brown shades over and over and yeah, these two and the clear gloss. This is really tricky to give away actually because you can't really disinfect it, so I need to keep it. I need to see what I can do with it. And um, these two I'm keeping as well. Oh, let me actually. This one definitely. I love this one. Let me look at the garden option and so on again. <sighs> it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Yeah, I'm keeping this one. Um, Need to get more use out of it. So let me pile that up here. So it's actually not. Actually, you know what? Considering it's Pat McGrath, I'm actually quite proud. I declared some. I mean, I love her and I love her products, but I just have too much of all. So I'm keeping three motherships plus one mothership mega, two six pen palettes, and one single and that eye gloss. And I'll give away one. Mothership, one six pan, two of the smaller ones, whatever they're called, and three singles. Okay, I'm actually, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I never thought I would actually give away Pat McGrath, but I've just realized my collection is really big. I wonder if I able to use it fully up. And yeah, I think I just prefer to have a collection which is um, a bit more easy to reach and to use. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.